one reader today. In the message about lightning. Isn't that crazy? I had to tell you something else, too. I'm almost done reading the book. Like, I've read the whole story, but now I'm reading, like, the acknowledgments at the end. And I had to take a break because what I just read, it was just a lot of information. But um, I wanted to share with you what I saw last night. So last night, I'm going to close the side window, and I see something moving in the breeze. And what I saw looked to me like a woman in a robe covering her head, like moving about. And I was thinking automatically it was my daughter because my daughter has this pink blanket and she always puts it over her head and dances around with it. And it's like, it, it wasn't, it like wasn't clicking like what I was seeing. I was like, what am I seeing? But Kenzie was upstairs in bed and I'm like, okay, it's not Kenzie. And I look closer and here it's the neighbor's American flag blowing in the wind, but that was not what I saw. What I saw was a woman in a robe with her head covered, like kind of like moving around, like putting the robe on herself and then like dancing around in a circle. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Did I just see a vision of Mary? Because literally that was the first thing I thought. And it just like... I, I just took me by surprise and I haven't seen a vision like that in a while. I mean, obviously when I looked closer, it was the American flag. But like I said, when I was looking in the reflection of the window, that is not what I saw. I thought it was my daughter behind me playing with her blanket and moving around with it over her head. But that wasn't it. And I was, I couldn't, my brain couldn't comprehend at the time what I was seeing. I really think I saw a vision of Mary. Yeah, it was weird. It was almost like she was like trying to hide her face from me when I saw the vision, but I wasn't scared. I was just trying to understand like what I was seeing and not comprehending. Yeah, and then I'm reading the afterward mentions in the book and then it clicked because she was both a widow and a bride, and clear as day, I'm reading, it says noble woman. Like, there's no coincidence with that. <laughs> like, the train went, told me to read the book again. I pick it up, I'm reading maybe, like, what? how many pages is this? 12 pages, not even. It goes from page 431 to page... 440, 441, so like 11 pages. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think she, she's just like, she's coming through so strong and I'm freaking out because I'm reading this uh, like basically summary of Kathleen McGowan and how she came about all this information, how she didn't plan for any of it. And it just all fell into place to write this book. And she was receiving visions of Mary as well as the character in this book. And I'm like, holy shit. Like just within these 11 pages, I'm reading this. I'm like, are you kidding me? I know. And like, I really feel like Mary's spirit has come alive within a lot of women right now. Like, she's coming through you, she's coming through me, she's coming through my friend Righteous Decoy, she's coming through Kirsten, my friend Angie. It's like, we're all picking up on different energetic uh, signatures of her. It's just really cool. And yeah, and as I'm reading about Kathleen McGowan and her search for all this information having to do with Mary, which she wasn't even intentionally looking for, she was going to be researching, like, Marie Antoinette and, like, these other women that, you know, had different stories told about them. And she ended up learning so much more about Mary Magdalene and writing, like, this whole series of books on her. And with that, like, come traveling different places but also receiving synchronicities along the way and puzzle pieces that she was like becoming obsessed with because they kept presenting themselves to her. It's like, that's exactly what we're going through, <laughs> you know? And it's undeniable. 
the the sheer volume of it, like the level of synchronicity um, is off the charts and it seems to come in waves. Like if you choose to connect with it, like they're right ready there with the next round of information to, to yeah, just to bring it back alive. You know, I'm not surprised, um, Kim, that you saw her. Um, I think the connection that you're building is just strengthening and strengthening and strengthening. And there's no question, but that, yeah, they're, they're both of them are coming through in the collective um, so that we can... I was just reading about actually um, the bonding of atoms, funnily enough. That's kind of like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Something, something activated me with what you just said too, because you said they're both coming through. And then I was thinking in those 10 or 11 pages that I just read, where I had all those aha moments, she's talking about the visions that she had with Mary Magdalene. But right before this afterward mention in the book that I just finished, like the actual story, the lady in the story that that's holding that Magdalene essence, receiving all the clues about her, she has a personal encounter, a vision of Isa himself, Jesus himself. And he comes to her and says, you aren't finished yet. The print. And it just like, it, it ran chills through all my spine. There's some pirate, some space There's pirates. so much, like, Hold on, I'm trying to find... On the mothership broadcast. it. Also, the seven, the seven demons that he cast out of her is a fucking lie. Like, she, this woman, she got literally access to the Dead Sea Scrolls and, and texts within the Vatican that she could not disclose. She's had, she, I, I'm talking like first-hand accounts, second-hand accounts, like people everything like she's traveled all over the world and this information has been given to her and the last chapter is chapter 22 of course and where jesus asks mary to marry him and this book is of course on page 322 march 22nd what he says to her hold on i'm trying to find it <sighs> he goes, you are my daughter in who I am well pleased. And she's, it says his voice was a melody, a song of unity and love that resonated in the air around her. She floated on that music for an eternal moment before crashing down to the sound of his next words. But your work is not yet finished. It's like that resonated in me so deep. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you just send me? Hebrew. Yeah, okay. The Hebrew letters that you just sent me were on my freaking floor. Because of the way that the blinds were shining through, excuse me, my window, they were hitting the carpet on my floor and lit up those letters on my floor. And I'm recognizing some of them now. And I need to go through my phone and send them to you and have you, because those are the same freaking letters. I kid you not, Janet, those, those letters that you just sent me, they look like they were the sevens on the ground. They're like Yod and like different meanings of Hebrew letters, but they were showing up on our floor, lit up by the sun. God, I got Mount Sinai today in my reading, but I couldn't fucking remember what the word was or pronounce it right. But I got Mount Sinai today in my fucking reading, Janet. Oh I told you my how close god! Okay, Mount Sinai Hospital is. Yeah, that symbol that's special because yeah, that does have both like the Tesla formation in it, also like the tor toroidal field, the three dots. Yeah, it's yeah, and it's like the fleur de lis, dude. I feel like this woman writing this book because. Remember when I was getting all those weird downloads about Mary Magdalene and I wrote out like 50 pages in handwritten words 
it's still upstairs in my room of like downloads that I was receiving pertaining to like the Magnolia tree in our backyard, Medusa, Mary Magdalene, all of it. Like it was like, I couldn't stop writing. I felt like, not like possessed, but I felt like I, there was a reason why I was writing it all down and channeling it. And I couldn't stop writing it. I sat for like a whole day writing these pages down. It's talking in that uh, below that symbol, it says to indicate the writing was of a sacred nature. Oh my God. It says the sunburst is the Aramaic word for light. Nura, and it's the symbol for the new Nura foundation. Yeah. Yeah, I got Sinai, Mount Sinai. Yeah, I'll show you. I, I just got done editing the video. It's uploading to YouTube as we speak. It's been in the process of uploading. It takes forever. Yeah, I got the word Sinai. And... Yeah, I got some weird messages in that reading. But what's crazy is that you just sent me those Hebrew letters and that's what showed up on my floor. Hold on, I gotta go back and find that in my phone. There's definitely a message with the, the rings and the orbs and the equator, all of that. Prime Meridian. I can't believe Merlin. that. Like that's the symbols. I'd love to know, oh, I didn't get too in depth to try to kind of decipher I suppose it does have the alphabet you can tell kind of what he is and what okay um oh damn what's I gonna say yes I know what I was gonna say do you know the first time that I really saw those letters was I don't know not that long ago it was just before actually do you know what it was it was just before we started talking like a couple of weeks ago, just leading into kind of uh, St. Patrick's Day, so not that long ago. And it all ties in as well, because it was, oh, I wish I knew where I saw it. The, what you call it? The Last Supper, the Da Vinci, right? And you know, the windows at the back, they were doing this whole thing of taking like that symbol, yes, we think, and tricking around with them, but it fits into the Da Vinci painting of the Last Supper as well. Isn't that, do you want to know what else? I was just looking at um, lightning and the charges because oh, this whole power, electricity, um, lightning and twin flames being poles, like the, the polar opposite but the positive and the negative charge. And that's kind of the electrostatic charge that creates um, lightning. And then the lightning is a discharge so that the lightning between like the in the cloud can equalize. So come into balance, come into equilibrium, all of that. OK, but you know what a lightning bolt is called also a branch channel. A few things. That's crazy. A branch channel. I was just looking at a tree and looking at how the roots look like fucking veins and also lightning streaks. And three mountains in the background that look just like Kristen's picture. And today my daughter also drew a picture of clouds. Look. For some involving like electricity, this is so weird. Uh, my daughter's show Encanto. There's a girl wearing a yellow dress and above her head is a cloud that's flashing with lightning. <laughs> Hold on. And I'm gonna show you this. Look, it's flashing with lightning. Like really? Oh my God. Even weirder is like, Done. Yes. Done. I was going to tell you 